you're not about too sad. Onion, today we are making enchilada sushi. So I have our chicken. I've cut them into strips so that they can lay in the sushi roll better. Um, and we're going to use some red pepper and some onion and some enchilada sauce instead of eel sauce or soy sauce or mayo or anything like that. So uh, it should be good. And uh, we will be back when we get to rolling. I guess I'll also show off the, the rice because uh, we'll be using it just a little bit different than, than usual with the rice. So uh, we'll be back. So we're going to do the rest of our ingredients now. Uh, the chicken is done. So it wouldn't be an enchilada without cheese. Uh, so we have Oaxacan cheese here. Almost looks like uh, string cheese, and it kind of has the same consistency. It's a little saltier and not as not as uh, processed. It doesn't melt. So we're just going to cut a couple, I guess, lines off of it. And this is going to go in with the center. It's almost it, it almost has the texture of cream cheese when, when melted and against the warm rice and the warm chicken. It should, you know, get a little less firm than it is been in the And it just comes off in these nice little these nice little flakes um which is which is great. Um so we're just, you know, we're just shaving them basically. Um and I'm going to actually divide this. Um can't be an enchilada without cheese. This is definitely not traditional sushi, um, but, you know, whatever. We don't really do tradition uh, here. So, just, uh, it's probably good. Um, so, any leftovers you have from this, just make actual enchiladas. Uh, so that is our cheese component. I don't think we're going to need much more than that. We'll probably get two rolls, maybe even ones. I didn't really go ahead on the rice today. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we have our red pepper, and I prefer red peppers for, for enchiladas. So we're just going to take a nice chunk out of the side, just like that, and we will spear it essentially. And it's real simple to get these to be in nice long strips, which is what you want. Um, so I'm even going to uh, double up so that they take up less room and, and roll better. And I love, I, pr I also prefer red pepper fresh because we're not going to uh, be cooking these. Um, I just think it has a better flavor in general than uh, green pepper. Green pepper just has that, you know, rather rich kind of green flavor is a good way of putting it, chlorophyll flavor. So that should be good. These just have a little bit nicer, sweeter sweetness to them. And then we're just going to take our onion and we're just going to, without without really worrying about the skin, because we'll just take that off later. Um, don't worry about, about that so much. Might be a little bit harder to get these into... Uh, spears, but that's okay. Um, we'll we'll come to that bridge when we need to. I think this is the first time I've ever seen onion in a sushi. Um, so there you have it. Real simple, and then you can just kind of part those. And again, you know, uh, obviously leftovers just actually make enchiladas with. I picked up... Uh, I might actually want a little bit more onion. Um, I actually picked up some tortillas when I did this. So, because I, I knew I would have extra, so, um, comes in real handy, there you go. This will just there you go, and I'll go grab a piece of chicken here so you guys can see how it came out. So, nope, oh, and there's our, so it just came out real nice, nice and straight, and, um, I marinated these. You know, our taco seasonings, so cumin and chili pepper and all that. Um, and some vinegar because the vinegar would pair well with our rice. So, um, yeah, this should come out pretty well. So we'll, uh, we'll be back once the rice cools. I didn't make a whole lot of rice this time because I always make too much. Uh, so I've mixed some sesame oil, some vinegar, and the actual sauce that this was marinated in and boiled in. 
the chicken that is, so it has a bit of that chicken flavor. So we're just going to drizzle that in. And we're going to coat it. So we're almost making more like a gimbap, or gimbap, or however you want to pronounce that. Um, probably a little bit more regular. Um, so take this as you will. I'm still calling it sushi. So um, looks like that's all kind of integrated in. So I think I think once this cools fully, and it'd probably be better not to have it in a um, metal bowl, but I don't have anything but metal bowls. Um, we will be ready. Let's give this a taste, even though we don't have a whole lot. Yeah. It gets all that taco flavoring in, that uh, sesame oil taste pairs really well with it, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely ready, and it's actually pretty cool as we as we speak, so um, I'm going to go, and we're going to uh, roll the sushi, so we'll be right back. So, sign it side down for your nori. And we will spread some rice over it. I'm going to try. And, you know, enchiladas are made with rice. So this works. This isn't too crazy. This will be, um, let's do that. This will be the edge that we roll to. So let me flip that around just so that I remember that's what we're doing. I think we still will be able to uh, get two out of this. The fishiness, oh, I ripped it. So I'm terrible, but we will just proceed since this is going to be the inside. I think we'll still be able to manage two, which is, which is fine. Um, I need to go get the enchilada sauce out of the fridge and open that up because I totally forgot to do that. So give me one second. I thought I was prepared. There we go. It's really liking to crumple in on itself. Different brand of sushi nori than I usually use. There we go. That was a good pop. This is fire roasted enchilada sauce, or so it says. So we will layer our roll, we're gonna roll it this way, right? Let's get that straight. Yeah, so. Let's do that. Seems more than enough cheese. Here's our chicken, and if you need to, you know, don't feel bad about cutting the chicken in half so that it fits. There we go. And I will throw in three of those. And there we are. Um, there we go. And that looks pretty nice. Alright, a little bit of enchilada sauce. And then, start the rolling. And it's leaking just a little bit. And as I always do, have a bit of excess. Because I'm always a little bit overzealous with my fillings. So let's just give that one more roll. There you go. It's a little messy. I'll just use the other side to roll the other. But it came out looking like a roll. Uh, so we'll set that aside and um, we will be back. I'm going to make one more before uh, I need, before I uh, record the eating. So we'll be right back. Alright, so it came out looking pretty 
gruesome, but I kind of expected that. So, uh, let's give it a taste, though. If it was hot, it'd probably be better. Um, that cheese would melt, but, um, sorry, this is really agreeable, um, came out pretty much exactly as I anticipated, it's a little sloppy, um, but that sesame seed oil really pulls us together, um, you don't really taste too much cheese, which is fine, um, just like having cream cheese in this. I'd say this came out ideal. So I'm really happy about this. Awesome. Give it a try yourself. You guys are probably better sushi rollers than I am. I'm pretty bad at rolling sushi. But, um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this at all. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bon appetit.